So um, let's get back to the video, shall we? All right. And the, the bad thing about it is, I don't, I don't know if he's a camp leader. You know, he probably is a camp leader, it seems like it, but he's supposed to be the shepherd of the flock, and he's got all his men out there, and he's jumping bad, you know, in front of the cop. And the spirit is telling me that he, he might have been doing it for the camera, for some clout. You know, he might have been acting out for some clout, because I just, that just wasn't wise, you know, to get some clout and to call the scripture out, you know, to, you know, to get views and all that. I don't know. You know, I, I could be wrong. Um, I'm, you know, that may be the case. If it is, that, that just wasn't cool, you know, and that's why what happened happened. Um, so if you go to Romans 13, right, if you start at, uh, if you start at one, it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Right, meaning, look, the Most High is controlling controlling everything, controlling these officers, control, controlling all the authorities. So when the Most High set them up to rule, you just got to obey. You know, you got to obey. That's just how it is. The Most High sent them in authority. We're in hell. We're not in a position to be jumping bad, so you gotta, you gotta be. Yeah, the Most High controls the left and the right. He controls all things, as the Elder Iathon is telling you. All right, he controls the left and the right. Esau is simply a tool. Okay, and when do we read that? All right, give me a minute. This is Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, and disappoint him, and cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. You see that? From Esau. You understand? Which is thy sword. What is Esau's blessing? The sword, right? We read that Genesis 27, 40, right? We also read about Esau being the red horse, Revelation 6 and 4, that take it peace from the earth. You understand that? While this man is in power, there will never be peace on the earth. This is why the Lord has to take him out of power. And if you people understand the scriptures, then you would know that Yahweh Shai, in one of his many reincarnations, was Isaac, who gave Esau the power. You understand that? Gave him the blessing of the sword. Hello, but this, this is for those of you that can receive it. You understand, people? All right? All right. Let's get back to the video. All right? Let's do that. Let's get back. Give me a minute. Verse 2, whoso therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. And damnation is what? Damnation is being sent, being going, going to jail, right? Getting handcuffed, being thrown in the back of a cop car, and catching charges for nothing. You could have just been a little bit wiser, you know? Verse 3 says, for rulers are... Did you hear what he said? They could have been wiser, see? Wisdom and knowledge. Okay, and they go hand in hand. And understanding, right? With all thy getting of getting wisdom and knowledge, you have to get what? Understanding. That means discernment. Okay? As a matter of fact, give me a minute. All right, this is uh, Google. And we're looking at discernment here, all right? Which means understanding, people, all right? Let's look at it. Let's find out what it means. The ability to judge well, okay? An astonishing lack of discernment. Judgment, being able to judge. Are we not going to uh, judge the angels? Yes, we are. That's scriptural, okay? When we get, when we're under the second covenant, 
okay, when we get our new bodies, our new extraterrestrial immortal bodies. All right, let's talk. Uh, see, what does it say here, number two? Perception in absence of judgment with a view of obtaining spiritual guidance and understanding. See that? You people understand this is what wisdom and knowledge mean. They all go hand in hand. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding because we, we read the scripture, didn't we? In Proverbs 4 and 7 which is a precept to Proverbs 9 and 10, okay? With all thy getting, of getting that knowledge and wisdom, get thy understanding. And I took you to another precept, Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precept, I get thy understanding, all right? And what does it say here? Without providing for a time of healing and discernment, right, which is judgment, which is understanding, there will be no hope of living through this present moment without the shattering of our, com of our common life. You see that? That's how important it is, all right, not just to have Wisdom and knowledge, because it means nothing if you don't have the understanding, if you don't have discernment. Okay? And I read you Isaiah 33 and 6, right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right? What times? These times. The end times. And strength of your salvation. You see? Now, let's further get into this. See? Discernment meaning judgment. Being able to understand, to make decisions. Okay? In times of adversity. All right? Refinement, cultivation. Enlightenment. Insight, perception, cleverness, intelligence, sharpness, wisdom, awareness. Are, are you people receiving the message here? All right. Do you understand what happened with when Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and he was taken to Pontius Pilate? What happened? Pontius Pilate, you know, in his pride, talking about Rome, this and that. And Yahweh Shai turned around and told him that the power that he has, him, the Romans, who are the Edomites, all right, that it comes from the heavens. It comes from above. It was given unto him from the Most High, his father. That's what he told them. Okay? That's what he told them. And that's what Romans, the 13th chapter, is talking about. You understand that, people? And we'll get to it. All right, let's get back to the video. All right? Give me a minute. You are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise are the same, right, because matter, matter of fact, let me read down, it says, for he is a minister of the Most High to thee for good, right, because look, to be honest with you, man, um, you know, throughout the years, when we go out speaking, all the police, even us, the, the elders and the bishops in, uh, in Springfield, the cops, they wave at us, they wave at us, you know, they throw us a loose, they say, what's up, you know, they're, they're cool with us. They come by and they tell us, like, yo, you know, these people are going to come up here. They have told us this. These people are going to come up here. They told us there's people that come up there on purpose that are set up to try to to get on, uh, make us go carnal so that they can uh, get the law on us. And there have been cops that came up to the corner and told us this personally. 
You see? You heard what he said? The cops told him this. All right? The, uh, the brothers from Boston. All right? Ivan and the other brothers, you know, Elder uh, Montezat, okay, uh, and all the other elders there, all right, so he told them that, you know, the cops were telling them that, you know, other people are going to come up there and, uh, and test them and try them, try to get them to be carnal, you see that? Do you people get it? Do you understand now, what is that immediately you know, what scripture comes to mind? For our weapons of warfare, right, are not carnal, right? Esau's weapons of warfare are carnal, right? He was given the blessing of the sword, right? All right, so our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through our God power, all right, to the bringing down of strongholds. And what is Esau's stronghold? His deceptions and lies. Do you understand that? This man has lied, you know, about history, about everything, right? You, you, this stuff is all over the scriptures, you know. Psalms 58 and 3 comes to mind. You know, the wicked, as soon as they be born, they go estranged from the womb doing what? Speaking lies. You understand? He is the father of lies. All right? You understand that? This man is always plotting. Okay? He built an anti-Messiah system set up with nothing but snares for you to fall. You understand? Okay? All right, let's, uh, let's continue here. All right? So it says, for he is a minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not to sword in vain. So you got to be wise, man. And there's been times that we have been in court and the people, the authorities in the court have jumped up in our corner and stood up for us. You know, the Most High, as it says up here. The powers are set up by the Most High. Down here it says they are the ministers of the Most High to us for good. You know? So, what you should have exercised was the couple of scriptures here. The one that the elder brought out already. You know, Matthew 5.25. Agree with thine adversary quickly while thou art in a way with him. Now, when you watch the video and a cop said, walk with us this way or get arrested, he started um, banging his staff on the ground. You know, that's like, uh, that's a threat. That's like, we want war. You know? That's why I say, to me, I think he was doing it for clout. You know? For clout, he got emotional and just tried to jump bad. You know, you got to walk in the spirit, not, not walk in the flesh. You know? So the cop said, when the cop said something like that, basically the cop was just wanted to talk to him. Wanted to talk to him. Just like that, man, you've seen it on our camp many times. You know? Especially in, uh, when we were in New York. The cop would come up and Pops with the har, or when it, one of us will walk to the side with the cop, have a decent conversation with the cop, and explain to him, talk to him like a fucking person, you know, be cool with him, talk smooth, agree with that adversary quickly, and then we'll go right back, say, all right, brothers, just, just tone it down a little bit, calm, just tone it down a little bit, and then that's it, man, everything is cool, and you get more respect from the cops. You know, you gotta do, you gotta use wisdom, man, especially when you got your men out there. You know, did you hear him? Wisdom. Do you understand, people? Wisdom. All right. You know what? We're going to uh, end this here. We'll be right back with part three. All right, and we're going to get into our lesson, and we'll pick it up here at Matthew's five and twenty-five. All right. So we'll be right back with part two. You're going to be tried and tested by the Most High. All right? All right. We'll be right back with part three. Shalom.